In the meantime, in the UK, basically anti-Israeli pro-Hamas mobs are in charge. They get to, they get to decide what's going to happen. In Parliament last week, in a display of complete disgrace, members of Parliament were free to vote on a provision regarding Gaza and Israel because they feared for their life. So there was a whole procedural thing and a whole mess and a whole disaster in, in Parliament because members of Parliament were afraid that if they voted wrong, i.e. anti the mob, they would get killed by the pro-Palestinian, pro-Hamas mob in London or in the UK. These are members of Parliament. It's gotten to the point where basically this mob, the, the London police is doing very little. Jews are afraid in London to go out of, let's say, synagogue or anywhere that identifies them as a Jew. And the mob, the, the pro Hamas mob is ruling. Uh, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, Sunak, the Prime Minister of, uh, of um, the UK, basically said, we can't have this anymore. He said that mob rule is replacing democracy in Britain. I mean, he said that, not me. It's ascending into mob rule. He said uh, he's allocated uh, a, a new budget for increased police security for members of parliament, but more broadly, he wants more of a crackdown on these mobs, on these thugs. Uh, now, what they do and how they do it and uh, whether the London Metropolitan Police, remember the, the mayor of London is a Muslim who is, uh, you know, I, I don't think he's an Islamist, but he's certainly not going to be critical of these protests. And the London police have been unbelievably tolerant towards the, uh, these, uh, these mobs, uh, towards these protesters. Uh, shame on them. Shame on the police. You swore an oath. You, you have a job. Have some pride in your job. One of your responsibilities is maintaining the peace, is protecting people against violence, and these protests are violent protests. They need to stop. People need to be arrested. They need to be put in jail. There need to be real consequences for going out in the street of London and threatening, threatening British citizens in the streets.